next is the analysis area and this is where you will be spending a lot of your time at the top you will find all the videos listed in a little list and you can scroll through that list you can click on any video and it's gonna appear in the sidebar right over here along with all data the stats are right over here the description is here and you can actually copy then the tags are here and if you scroll down further along you will find the suggested tags collected from all the videos and based on the algorithm that TubeRank G3 has it's going to suggest the best tags for your own video so here are the high competition tags these are the tags that are being searched the most and that all these videos are targeting that many of these videos are targeting which means that there's a lot of competition but the results are also pretty good so you want to do a mix of high competition tags medium competition tags and long tail tags so what I usually do is I pick up two to three high competition tags and sometimes you might get a lot of high competition tags and if you just add them all of them it might not really be a good idea because you need to strike out a balance because it's not easy to get ranked for the high competition tags what you need to do pick up two to three high competition tags then add in some medium competition tags of course you need to spend more time you need to read everything properly I'm not doing that but you need to actually make sure that things are uh, you know properly you know uh, that you select the best tags for this niche then add a bunch of low value tags and try and find tags which are relevant to your niche which are actually which are actually 100 percent targeted targeted that's the best and once you've done adding all the tags you will see if you scroll up that all the tags that I added are added over here and here you will see the space is still left which means you can have up to 500 characters in YouTube tags we've done 312 so I can just go back down add some more and I will have more tags so whatever number of tags you want to add you should next we want to do the description and what you should typically do is check out the best videos like this one and take a little description from here just click on append it's added to the description your description now you can actually modify it so you take the good elements from each description something you know that that applies to your video and something you know you might actually get a lot of ideas from other people's videos about the descriptions about what they are writing and you know you can use that information to make your own description and that's what you should do to uh, get ranked easier and to build a very nice description very quickly because if you were to write from scratch you would have to scratch your head too and think a lot but if you if you're just using other videos to get inspired get the ideas it's going to be quite a bit quicker for you and of course you will see the tags for each video on the sidebar and this is very helpful because suppose yeah, there's a video that you think you should be on the sidebar or on the related videos bar for so what you need to do is just target all the tags for that particular video and youtube's algorithm actually selects the videos that goes to the related videos sidebar using the tags so if you select a lot of tags youtube will think that your video is similar to this or it's this it's about the same thing as this video and there, there will be quite a strong chance that you will start ranking in the related video sidebar which will get you a lot of traffic from the guy who made this video you know the uh, from other people's videos so that's pretty pretty easy and it's a great way to get ranked for uh, keywords that you can target with your own video but other people are ranking for and you want to be appear you want to be appearing on the sidebar and get their traffic so this is what analysis does now one more thing here's a button here get my score if you click on it you will see your score here and this is a reflection of how well optimized your video is if your video is well optimized the score will be higher if the video is not so well optimized the score will be lower and tuberanjit actually tells you what exactly you need to do to increase that score so the first action like please add the keyword in the title without any separating words so you need to add the keyword like dyi tours this was the keyword that i was targeting and click on it again it increases the score a bit then it says consider making the title longer so it actually detects the level of your of your optimization and it gives you the exact things that you need to do to optimize it correctly and typically you want to get a score above 85 if you got a score above 85 it means your video is quite well optimized once you're done with playing with this just follow the instructions 
and you'll be fine your score is gonna go up it, it's gonna tell you specifically what you need to do so there's no way you will be uh, moving along in a bad direction then if you've added your YouTube account to tube rank cheat inside the account settings it will be available over here and you will be able to select it and upload your video using the click using the button upload button so that's very easy uh, now to put your videos on YouTube after optimization because they will have all this data you won't have to copy and paste into YouTube and the videos will be uploaded uh, from right inside tube rank cheat which is very very good which makes things very easy so this is the analysis screen for you